Welcome back, my friend. Time to kick it up a notch. Before we get started today, I want to thank you for making it this far into the CRI Genetics onboarding program. So far, we've focused on your ancestry reports, how they're created and what they mean to you. Today, we're going to discuss where your health reports come from. At CRI Genetics, DNA is often referred to as a blueprint for your body. But what is a blueprint? It's basically the same as a recipe. A list of needed supplies and directions for what to do with them. Now, let's talk about the recipe of you. Without even looking, I can tell you it calls for a whole lot of sugar and a whole lot of protein. It may sound weird, but it's a good recipe. I mean, it created you after all. Let's get back to your chromosomes. We've discussed how each of your chromosomes is a package of DNA, and each of them is full of tiny segments that vary from person to person. Before, we discussed that these tiny segments are called SNPs, and we discussed that certain variations on these SNPs are known to be connected to various populations around the globe. The same is true of many traits and health-related characteristics. These genetic variations are determined by four different kinds of sugars. Adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. These sugars are one of the first steps in the recipe of you. Don't worry, you don't need to remember their names, just remember the different letters. When you get your CRI genetics health reports, you'll see which letters you have on each SNP for every report you get and what it all means. Now, let's talk about where the protein comes in. These sugars, adenine, guanine and the others, they're code for proteins that cause your different genetic traits. DNA is code that gets copied into an RNA message. The RNA message gets translated into a protein that creates your unique traits. So let's take the blue eyes trait, for example. There's only one SNP that determines whether someone has brown or blue eyes. What colour eyes you have depends on which two sugars you inherited from your parents. Alright, now that we've copied the DNA code into a RNA message and translated it, let's see what colour eyes we get. BAM! Now that was two G sugars. With eye colour, all it takes is one serving of A sugar to get mixed in to create brown eyes, or green, or hazel, depending on other factors. I'm not going to get into all that here because I think you get it. All of your individual traits come from this process. You inherited certain letters on your genetic code from your parents, this code gets translated into proteins that create your unique traits. When you see your CRI genetics health reports, this is where your results come from. People a lot smarter than me looked at which letters of sugar you have at very specific SNPs. They know from published scientific research that those sugars code for the proteins of certain traits. This is how they're able to tell you about various health risks, nutritional needs, allergies, and even certain personality traits. What these reports really do is predict what traits you're likely to have. But that's a complicated topic I'll save for the next video. Right now, it's lunchtime. 